because uh, Pingshan is kind of a new district. So if you're coming to China, you will not get lost. Don't worry. I have taken you to several cool places here in Shenzhen. As I told you before in many of my videos, the city is so huge that I need so much time to take you everywhere. Today we're coming to a place that just opened recently. This is a monorail that is in Pingshan district. It's a place that is about 45 minutes to one hour by subway from the city center. So there are several ways to reach this very place, by car, by subway, by high-speed train. So this is a monorail that was built in conjunction between the municipal Pingshan government and BYD, BYD, the automaker from Shenzhen. So they built this beautiful, huge structure to connect Pingshan district using a monorail like the one you were seeing behind me. So this little train will take you to 11 stations in just 22 minutes. So what is happening in Shenzhen? They're exploring new ways to connect people with different forms of transportation, including subway, including high-speed rail, and now monorail. Because Pingshan district is a smaller district, so they are using different ways that are not as expensive or as difficult to build as a subway, but they're using other ways like this monorail. And we'll be getting on board in a few minutes to see what this is about. So come with me and explore the Pingshan monorail. The name of this system is Sky Shuttle. As I was telling you, it's going at a very limited speed because it's a monorail, of course. And it's interesting, today is Saturday. Uh, of course, we're not seeing people commuting. Like, I'm assuming they use the system on weekdays just for going to work, going to school, and commuting. But today is weekend, so we can see more like families and people kind of sightseeing and using this transportation to go around because uh, Pingshan is kind of a new district. So it's also going through a huge transformation. We'll see a lot of high-speed rail stations. We'll see new subway stations being built in this district. And now this system that was built in conjunction with the local government and the private companies such as BYD. So it takes roughly two to three minutes to connect between one and the other station. It's quite fast, I will, I will say. So. With an investment of 10 billion yuan, the construction of the Sky Shuttle was in charge of the Chinese car manufacturer BYD. The first phase of the Sky Shuttle project is 8.5 kilometers in length, with an automatic driverless technology and a maximum operating speed of 80 kilometers per hour. And we're riding right now the monorail in Pingshan and it's not definitely it's not as stable as a subway or a metro system because of course it's going on uh, one rail only so it's kind of shaky and unstable and of course it's also going in a very limited speed so this is more way to connect people within short distances this is Screen also with the timetable and the information. This means the next train to Biyadi North in one minute. And now our train is here on the other side. And the cool thing is also in English. So systems in Shenzhen like subway, trains, buses, they also have announcements and designs both in Chinese and English. So if you're coming to China, you will not get lost. Don't worry. to have access to the station.
the right moment to catch a train or a very specific situation when you get the best of that moment. The Sky Shuttle is equipped with unmanned driving system, face recognition and other high-tech configurations. This type of transportation has the advantages over a more conventional metro system, like low building cost and short construction period. It also provides passengers with a more intelligent, comfortable, convenient and safe travel experience. The Line 1 in Pingshan District opened for the public on December 28th in 2022. Folks, I'm going to be wandering around nice and beautiful places here in China and documenting about it. I will also be Instagramming my day to day and my trips in this awesome country. Feel free to follow me and leave your comments and impressions over there about life in China. I will leave the link to my account in the description down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my follow up stories about what's going on in this part of the world. If you think there might be someone else interested in these kind of videos, please consider sharing. My name is Rafael, thanks for watching and stay safe until next time.